How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother f- Hey, oh, it's the Chris Cord Show. Hey, oh, it's- This show is brought to you by... I get to drink again. I get to drink again. It is February 2nd, and I am drinking. I'm drinking whiskey, and I'm having fun. Matt? Nobody cares. How? Oh. I was actually really excited about that. <laughs> you don't? Oh, oh, God. Whatever. You know? It's what is dry January? Explain this to me. When did this become a thing? I don't know. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the. Uh, this is the first year I've heard it. the term "dry January," and people are trying to do it, and it just seems stupid. Well, to you, it's stupid. It, well, no, but that's the thing. It's like it's not like you're giving up drinking as a New Year's resolution. You're just I, giving it up for January. I think it's because you're trying to weed out the alcoholics. An alcoholic cannot do dry January, where a person that just drinks can do it. I failed. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking alcoholic. (laughs) No, I only did it three times. See, you can't call me an alcoholic because I never attempted dry January. Well, yeah, that's... I didn't fail because I never attempted. That's the the reason for why you are an alcoholic. If I attempted it and failed, you know, though, I am proud of myself because even though I did it three times, yes, I know, but they were like, they were mandatory. And Mm. that's what an alcoholic (laughs) would say. (laughs) But no, no, even though, like, there were Fridays where we recorded and you were drinking a beer going, yeah, that's a good bear. (laughs) Most of the beers were old and stinky. (laughs) And I was looking at this motherfucker, look at that bush light. That golden crisp liquid just falling into his mouth. You could do it now. That's fine. But I here's, can and you can't because there's no bush light left in the fridge. Here's the thing, though, because I think I'm just going to... I'm still going to drink beer, but not as often. I'm going to go for, like, liquor more. It's a healthier option. Because I noticed that I've actually been, like... My, my stomach has been getting less and less, you know? Even though I'm five, a lot of carbohydrates. I'm actually five more pounds, but I don't know how that happened. Because <laughs> you've been snacking. Yeah, I've been eating like, like a motherfucker. I need a drink, but a snack instead. I have been eating like a motherfucker, <laughs> and like bad too. Like I've been eating bad, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. I've been learning Italian. No, you haven't. Um, I I paid for a tutor. I mean, I believe that. Yeah, her name <laughs> is her name is Simona, and um. Yeah, she's she is a native Italiano, and uh, yeah, we've been meeting. For, it's two hours a week on the uh, Zooms. Yeah, it's on Zoom, and then we, uh, you know, we go over lessons. It's like at nine o'clock at night, so it's an hour each. So, you know, I'm hoping to learn that. I got homework to do with it, and uh, I want to learn Italian. You know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna really do it. Go for it. You know. The app was nice. I mean, that was like a, a nice intro to to a, a real tutor. Uh, yeah, to a real tutor. But uh, no, it's it's fun, man. I and you know what? The crazy thing is, like, I was thinking of everything that I I'm doing. You know, what learning you Italian. I make beer on my side. You know, doing the the podcast. Doing, you know, there's just so much Dry shit. January. It, it's because my brain. Always is on the go. And if it's just sitting there, like it can't just sit there. It's got to be working, right? It's got to be working. And if it doesn't work. So you're never going to retire. Oh, God, no. No. And if it and if my brain doesn't. If you got $20 million tomorrow, you wouldn't retire. Yeah, what I, I would take it and then still do something else, though. 
You I keep can't. working at your store right now? Um, maybe. Because <laughs> you don't give a fuck when you're there anyway. <laughs> no, I do, but like I, I just you know, that's 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 the whole mentality of it, man. Like my brain is just constantly fucking on the go, and I think Where's it, it has to be. I think it has to be. Where's honestly. it going? I don't know. We'll see. All the way to the top, baby. That's right. That's right. And I'm excited about it, you know? I'm good. excited. That's good. So. Oh, you don't give a fuck. Not really. Yeah. I've known you too long. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your fucking life. Why? Uh, uh, I'm divorced and I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I'm divorced. <laughs> uh, look at me. I'm so sad. My life's fine. Pussy. Go fuck yourself. Oh, uh, well. We drinking or what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, cheers to uh, uh, it being done. Dry January is done. Cheers. Oh. I, I hit the microphone stand. <laughs> and I will say, before I drink this, or after, that we made a cough goal video. Yeah, last week. We made coffee and pickle juice. And, you know, I had um, uh, people that, like, uh, I went to a event and people were coming up to me um, that I didn't even know listened to or followed us. And they said, bro, you almost made me puke. I was like, what? You know, and they would tell me like that cough goal episode. This shit was delicious. And I was like, dang, everyone's okay. got to try it. But and if you listen to the episode, you'll know the truth. It, it's terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, we, we recorded a video where we pretended like it was great. It was the greatest thing. And I Some made you take a second swing on that video. Bread. <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker. If you look at the video, so we were trying to play it like, and we got a lot of views on that. Um, we we were trying to play it like. Like it was delicious. Like the it was video, a great like, idea. Like the yeah. Kafka juice was, was the best thing ever. And this motherfucker started leading, which is which is cool. Because it's usually me leading, and well, he you took didn't it away. say shit when you started it. So, <laughs> I, hey, I'm glad you did. Somebody had to step in, and then you took another drink, and you said, mm, "I'm gonna take a shit, another swig of this again," and that, and you could see me laughing because <laughs> you could see him look at me like, "What the fuck, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and I start laughing because, like, I don't want to fucking drink this again. <laughs> And to be fair, that was like what the third, fourth, or fifth time we drank it that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm just drinking, you know, regular pickle juice, Irish whiskey, and pickle juice. <laughs> but that's a pickleback. That's well known. Yeah, it's a pickleback. I'm I'm bringing six back. Hey, I I got a question real real fast before we get into the stardust. Go for it. What is this? Sherbert. So, okay, so I have a picture. Or you could call it sorbet. Okay, I have a picture up of... It's Rainbow Sherbert. Yeah, I have a picture of that up. Do you know that that's not called Sherbert? Is it called Sorbet? No. What do they call it? Sherbet. Sherbet? We've been saying it wrong this whole fucking time. What do you mean, Sherbet? It's Sherbert. Yeah, no. It's Sherbet. We pronounce it... Fucking wrong. We've been lied our whole life, Matt. It's sherbet. <laughs> it's sherbert. It's actually what? What do they call that? The Mandela effect or whatever? I think that's what it is. S H E R B E T. There is no R in sherbet. Well, I think it's sherbet, but yeah, sherbet. Oh. It's like Hubert. Yeah, we will. No, we've been saying it wrong this whole fucking time. Look at you. Fuck off. Saying I'm dumb? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Let's get into our artist here. This is uh, Mina Ora. And I hope to God I'm saying this right because I was looking at things to say it right, but it could be Mina Ora. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If this is wrong, but let's get into the song. This is her single, and it is called Storm. Here on the Chris Court Show. <laughs> It 
cities and towns Shattered and afraid Wounded faces But souls so brave Mina, or uh, uh, I'm thinking it's Mina. Mina? Yeah, because you said it was Finnish. Mina would be a Finnish name, I believe. Yeah. Well, either way, I fucking love that song. That was good. I, I love it. it. Like her voice just goes very well with it. This was released on October 6th of last year, um, but still very good. Uh, you could go and find her stuff everywhere. Um, she has. Oh, she also has a website. MinaOraMusic.com That's M-I-N-N-A O-R-A Music.com And Yeah, completely awesome, man I really, 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 really like that one Um, And like I said, she uh, She's a singer-songwriter She's also a guitarist And she's from Finland Well, Matt said that uh, she's from Finland Because he took the air out of my wheel Well, you were talking about her name No, 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 no um, a little backstory of it on here because the, uh, she does have it here. Um, it describes the abuse of power and how one rises against it. There are actually two language versions of both the song, and the video is on YouTube in English and in Finnish. Amazing. What did you you thought it was good though? I enjoyed it. No, I really did. I remember in the beginning I asked you like what language is that because I wasn't sure. But yeah. obviously it was finished. She was starting to sing him, but then it changed to English, and the song was amazing. It was great. It had a great like vibe to it. And and, it, and it's cool because you know it, to hear that kind of music go 
so well with a female voice. It's like, you know, a lot of females nowadays, well, a lot of uh, popular females nowadays are this, you know, you know, uh, cutesy voice and, or, and it's cool to hear that. Or you're like Cardi B and Mickey, Nicki Minaj where you're at like kind yeah. of ghetto. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, even guys are doing that too. Like you're hearing a cutesy guy voice and now yeah. it's just, it, it's cool to hear that. And, and you know what? That's, that's what we bring. We bring it to the table. We say, hey, this isn't being played. Let's play it. Yeah. You know? Put that good music out there. Play that good music out there. So if you want to go check that out, um, go to her website. She, and she's on Spotify. You know, Spotify. I'm sure check she's it out. probably on iTunes, Apple Music, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. I'm, I'm very excited about that one. Look at me going. Speaking of which, Tay-Tay, Taylor Swift. She is, that you, is that how you call her? Tay-Tay? Yeah. She's been a, a, in the news everywhere. Do you know that she's dating Travis Kelsey, the uh, D, uh, D, 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 the tight end from the Kansas City Chiefs? D, 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 D. <laughs> That's all, folks. She's dating a tight end. <laughs> she's, di- she's dating the tight end, Travis Kelsey. He's not a wide receiver. He's a tight end. No. Um. Oh, that joke ended terribly. <laughs> that That one fell on its head. Yeah, I know. Move on. <laughs> I'm glad that you got a good laugh at your joke. Oh, I got a good man. laugh at the fact that it took you that long to realize it was a joke. So, and she's been all over the news, right? And, and Kansas City Chiefs, we know that Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers are in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And you didn't know that? No. <laughs> You could be honest. <laughs> I haven't been following it that closely. All right. Well, Taylor Swift's been to talk because she's dating the tight end for uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Travis Kelsey. And a lot of so, people are pissed. Even though she's hugely, widely popular and well-known, she's getting more popular and more well-known oh, yeah. because she's dating someone who's going to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Now, do you think if they win, he's going to take her to Disneyland? Disneyland? Disneyland. I don't, I don't know. Why would, why would he take her to Disneyland? Or I guess it's Disney World. They always say, I'm going to Disney World after they win. Oh, they do? Usually. When the fuck do they ever say that? Like, every fucking Super Bowl. Who? They usually, like, do, like, the quarterback of the winning team. Like they <laughs> They interview the quarterback of the winning team after the game. Yeah. And he always says, I'm going to Disney World. They'll, they'll say, like, what are you doing next? That's what he does. It's I've just, never heard of that. It's a fucking thing. How have you not seen that? It's I, been going on since, like, the fucking 90s. Really? Yeah. Maybe that was the last time they said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure last Super Bowl they said it, too. He said he was going to the Dis- uh, to Disney World, huh? Yeah. Okay. It's a thing. How do you not know this? I, I didn't know that's what the quarterbacks say when they win a Super Bowl. They do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're so surprised by this. I'm just... This is, this is like the whole my lord and savior thing. <laughs> How did you not know this? How do, I, I just don't get like, okay, yeah, all right. Well, out of all the things that about football, you get that they get Disney World. Yet you don't even know that Taylor Swift is dating one of the. I don't give a fuck. Tay Tay, but you give a fuck about them going to Disney World. <laughs> I'm just, that's something that's widely known. I'm surprised you didn't really? know it. Yes. It's widely known. Okay. It happens at like every Super Bowl game. After the game, they interview the quarterback and they say they're going to Disney World. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't widely know that, obviously. But, you know. Well, I don't widely know that Taylor Swift's dating some dude who's playing in the Super Bowl. It's everywhere, bro. So here's the thing I, I, I say about Taylor Swift. All right. I. A lot of people are pissed because she's going to take over the Super Bowl, and they're all pissed. Get out of football. Well, she ain't performing, yeah, or, right? Huh? She ain't performing, right? No, but, like, it's a big thing. Who and is like, performing? Um, We said before, actually. Did we? Who was it? I thought we should bring it up again since it's a week before the Super Bowl. <laughs> Who? Uh, actually, wait, is it this I weekend? I can't believe I... I uh, is that this weekend? No. It's next weekend. February 11th. Second, yeah. second Sunday, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, oh, um, user. Usher? <laughs> <laughs> did you say user? I did. Uh, well, <laughs> is that his widely known name? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I said it wrong on purpose, motherfucker. Oh, okay. Anyway, I, my main thing about Taylor Swift is leave the girl alone. I mean, like, whatever. And that's like, it's her Just personal life. Just watch football and it's stop. It's her personal life. She could date whoever she wants. Right. Who, who the fuck cares, guys? I mean, would it be a big deal if she was dating me? To me, it would be. <laughs> to her, it would be, too. <laughs> that's right. Well, not like that, but, you know, so that's my message. All you fucking people out there, just who gives a fuck, man? Peace and love. And Charlie Barkley, (laughs) I said Charlie Barkley. Barkley. (laughs) Charles Barkley said it best. You're just a loser. Was he saying Taylor Swift was? No, he he was slamming Taylor (laughs) Swift haters. A lot of people are. A lot of people are on Tay-Tay's side. You know, they got the Swifties out there. You know, and Charles Barkley said, if you're screaming at Taylor Swift saying she ruined football, you're just a loser. You're just a loser or a jackass. She didn't ruin you jackass. The football. You jackass. Anyway, so would you, you, you go to escape rooms, right? I've been to a couple. Would you do this? The world's smallest escape room. So what it is is you go into a coffin and you try to get out of the coffin. The fear of being buried alive and trapped in a coffin. And it also has... Um, how realistic do they make this? Oh, how... Uh, I don't know. Like, does the coffin, like, shake a little bit? Like, they're putting it down in the grave? And I mean, maybe. You hear, like, maybe. stuff falling on it and... But uh, the live-action puzzle game developed by Spanish company Horrorbox in Barcelona is called Cataless- Catalepsy, reference to a medical condition easily mistakable for death. Participants have 30 minutes to free themselves from inside a coffin by solving puzzles throughout team- through teamwork with a partner in a neighboring casket. Communicating via loudspeaker? loudspeakers. <laughs> they are monitored over cameras by uh, a game master who defined escape rooms as a gym for the mind. She said the attraction aimed to recreate a situation that sooner or later will all experience your own funeral. Yeah, except you're not alive at your own funeral and trying to get out of the coffin. Even if you are alive trying to get out of the coffin, you don't have a neighbor to shout at with a loudspeaker to help you. <laughs> uh, you might. What about the other people that are already dead? They're probably rotting away already. Even if they weren't rotting away, do you think that they would? <laughs> <laughs> would you do that, though? The coffin escape room? Or are, are you, do you have? I'm uh, not claustrophobic. I can no. do it. Honestly, I probably wouldn't escape, though. I'd probably just fall asleep. There. Right. I was <laughs> It'd thinking so that. comfortable. I don't think I have. It looks comfy as shit. Look at all the cushions around. <laughs> right. I don't think I have claustrophobic and, and you can watch the video on uh, YouTube or something. It's it's uh, it's actually I mean, you got room in there. You just well, got to figure shit out. Yeah. Like I said, these are Europeans that are also relatively skinny. Oh, yeah. Well, if you'd have some head space. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't have any space. I know. Because my dick's so big. <laughs> that has nothing to do. <laughs> but I I think I would do it. I don't know. I, I think I'm, I'm with you on that, though. I think I would fall asleep. I think I would just take a nap. I honestly believe I would just take a nap. I would I would say, can you, um, I would just Wait, say to How my, long do they give you to escape? It was 30 minutes? 30 minutes, That's yeah. a good nap. I would, if if you and me were doing this, I would say, can you do this for the whole 30 minutes? Because I need a fan. And I would pass the fuck out. All of a sudden, you would be hearing. (laughs) You bring that CPAP machine in there, would you? (laughs) What what are you bringing that in with you for, sir? It's part of the puzzle, believe me. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I would definitely do it. I would definitely do it. I'd have no problem doing that. Freaks on Parade is coming back. Alice Cooper and Robbie Robbie Zombie. Robbie Zombie. What is with you with the names tonight? I, I like to call Robbie. That's, you know, he's my my guy. Who else is on the tickets? Alice Cooper and Robbie Zombie. There's got to be more. Because last Freaks on Parade, there was like four or five bands. It doesn't say anything else. Like, honestly, it doesn't. There's got to be more. 
Uh, what are they playing in? Maybe uh, they just haven't booked the other tours yet. Cause I don't see any Chicago. Yeah, I don't see the. Uh, oh, nothing in Illinois. I that is there anything even near Illinois? No. No. But show all dates. I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna be coming that's, that's to in, like that's in different countries. Oh yeah. Oh here. Um. Nobleville, Indiana. Yeah, that's the closest one. I'm sure they'll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey guys, what new albums are coming out these days? It's new for this time. It's new albums. New album. New album. New album. New album. New album. All right, new releases coming up to your ass February 2nd. That is today, this Friday. Brittany Howard, what now? Jay Mascus, what do we do now? Oh, was Jay Mascus answering Brittany Howard? Maybe. Lee Scratch Perry, King Perry. The Last Dinner Party, Prelude to Ecstasy. Vida Sola, Peacemaker. And that is it. Very short list this time around. But go and check them out. Remember to support your local record stores um, and support your indie artists. Whatever you can do is up to you. We're, we're you trying to rhyme there or what? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, but then it didn't come out good. But anyway... So, yeah, so Freaks on Parade, I, it doesn't look like there's any more information. It, and it just came out. This all, all this stuff just came out. So Well, it looks like if you went up, they were in, like, other countries. Are they touring right now in other countries? No, I think it's, like, summer. Oh, yeah. April. Well, spring, summer, I guess. I would actually like to see that. Well, they're in Australia in April. It's probably still, like, summer. You <laughs> mean? You got a problem, motherfucker? <laughs> But I would actually like to see this. So if they, I, I think they'll be coming to Tweeter Center, no doubt. Yeah, you just think they haven't announced it yet? No. Well, what's what else is around Indiana there? Like other dates that they're playing? Don't point. That's rude. Um, Indiana, Indiana. Iowa. Iowa. Michigan. Michigan. Ohio, Indiana, Missouri. No. They. I have a feeling they're gonna stick Chicago in there somewhere. Right, because there's Michigan, Indiana, Missouri right there. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't far. No, they're probably just working out kink. So it, well, 30th, 31st. So it, if anything, it'll be the 29th. And then the first, they're at, oh, wait. Oh, that's in Maryland Heights. Missouri. Yeah, there's there's a it's couple the, of others. Wasn't that the name of the place originally at one point? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then it said, fuck Illinois. I'm going to go buy, <laughs> buy it from Maryland Heights, Missouri. But yeah. So there you go. If you want to go, go. Carl Weathers. From Rocky is dead. Carl Weather died? Go with that. <laughs> I didn't know he died. Yeah, he's dead. That sucks. Yeah. Thank you. Um, he was Wait, seven. Did, didn't he just do a bunch of commercials, too? I think so. For, for the Super Bowl, for the that kickoff thing, the, the fan duel or whatever. I think he's in it. Did he? I think so. Am I getting this right? Is, is he the guy from Happy Gilmore? He wasn't Happy Gilmore. Yeah, with the fake hand, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I knew that, but like I I know him more from Rocky, but yeah, but yeah. So uh, Carl Weathers is dead. Um, for Rocky, Predator, and yeah, Happy Gilmore. He was seventy six years old. I don't think I even want to go into like how he died because I'm pretty sure it's just you know natural causes. But I don't think they even have that up there. But Carl Weathers is dead. Rest in peace. He was he was a good actor too. Like everything he did. Oh yeah, no. Even Every, uh, Predator. I forgot he was in Predator. Well, he was. He was a great actor. Yeah, but he played Apollo Creed in uh, Rocky. If you don't know who we're talking about, and if you still don't, then you need to brush up. He also played in uh, a Disney show called The Mandalorian. Star oh Wars yeah, show. yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't wonder, know that. Actually. Wonder what they're going to do with this character on that now? Because they're still is doing it still it. going? They're going to make more. That's yeah. like The Mandalorian is like their prime Star Wars show that they're putting on they keep doing spinoffs here and there of it but that one they're gonna keep doing and what uh position did he play he was like 
the, I think, senator or something like that of a town on a planet. Yeah. So but was it like a he big He was a role? very close friend of the Mandalorian, so. Mm. Was it a big role or? It was, he was on there a lot. He was on there quite frequently, yeah. Okay. Um, and in other death news, Wayne Kramer, um, you probably don't know, you might. Um, MC5, he was one of the co-founders from MC5, died at 75 years old as well. He was the guitarist. If you don't know who MC5 is, then I don't know what to tell you, man. You need to go check it out. Rage Against the Machine covered uh, some of their songs, I think. Well, if not, at least one. I don't think I know the name MC5. MC5? I probably should know it. Oh, well. Yeah, good band. Go check them out if you don't know it. All right, so let's get into the Grammys that are coming out. Who cares? 2024 Grammys that is airing this Sunday, February 4th, on CBS and Paramount+. Plus. I know, but I know we don't care about this really, but... You know, we just got to talk about it just so we can hashtag We're it. here for the independent artists. I know. What do you got to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing after that. <laughs> so here are some of the nominees, and then this is, we're just going to kind of scroll through these. Record of the year, they're saying John Batiste, uh, Worship, Boy Genius, I don't even know who that is, Not Strong Enough, Miley Cyrus, Flowers, Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For, That is... The song is so good by Billie Eilish. Um, you don't care. I, I don't know the song. Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire, Taylor Swift, Antihero, SZA, Kill Bill. Album of the Year, they're doing the same thing. Uh, John pa- John Batiste, uh, World Music Radio, Boy Genius, The Record, Miley Cyrus, Endless Summer Vacation, Lana Del Rey, Do You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, Janelle Monet, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, SZA. It's like the same fucking thing. Song of the Year. Um, let's see. A&W, Lana Del Rey, Antihero, Taylor Swift, John Batiste, uh, Dua Lipa, Dance the Night, Flowers, Miley Cyrus, Kill Bill, uh, I don't know who this is, um, Carter something, Olivia Rodrigo, SZA. and Billy Irish. Okay. Kill Bill is SZA. Oh, was it? Yeah. Best new artist, Gracie Abrams. Here, this is the ones I like. Fred again, Ice Spice, Jelly Roll, Coco Jones, Noah Kahan, Victoria Monet, The Warren Treaty. I say Jelly Roll wins that one. Yeah? Yeah. You like Jelly Roll? I, I, I do, but I that's the only one I know out of all of them. You know who uh, Ice Spice is, don't you? No. She's been all over the TV and everything. How the fuck do you know that? And you don't know Taylor Swift. I, I, don't, I couldn't name a single Ice Spice song. <laughs> I, I've i never heard of her. Yeah, she's uh, a new artist. She's done a lot of commercials for like McDonald's and stuff. And she, the, one of the commercials with McDonald's was with Ben Affleck. Affleck. Really? Yeah. No, I didn't. I or didn't. no, it wasn't McDonald's. It was Dunkin' Donuts. That's what it was, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because they, they did the... Um, Munchkin flavored, like Munchkin Donuts flavored coffee drink, mm-hmm. and she was the one who like promoted it. Okay, I yeah. think it was actually like a coffee drink with blended up Munchkins in it, like it was like a shake. Really, with, like blended up. You munchkin. know a lot about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I know who she is. She's this motherfucker just said, I don't know about Taylor Swift. Is the biggest news 20, ever. I don't know about Taylor but Swift. But you know about fucking Ice Spice and I what, watch TV. And fucking Dunkin' Donuts and her creamer. And I watch TV. What do you want? Best rock performance, Arctic Monkeys, Black Pumas, Boy Genius, Foo Fighters, and Metallica. Best metal performance, Disturbed, Ghost, Metallica, Slipknot, Spirit wait, Box. Wait, Metallica's on best rock performance and? Best metal. Best metal? Yeah. Okay. I guess, I mean, metal's rock. I mean, yeah, it's true. Best rock song, Angry, uh, Mick Jagger, uh, oh, the Rolling Stones, Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl, Olivia, uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Emotion Sickness, Queens of the Stone Age. Wait, what the fuck? What? I didn't know they came out with a new song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, I do, actually. Not Strong Enough, Boy Genius, and Rescued, 
with our boy Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl. We get to hashtag that. <laughs> we get to hashtag it even if we didn't mention him. Best rock album. But here we are, Foo Fighters. Oh, that better win, man. That was such a good album. That was a great album. Greta Van Fleet. That is a great album. Yeah. It didn't go away. It's no, still it's still here. I mean, that's their newest one. Metallica, 72 Seasons. This is Why, Paramore. And Queens of the Stone Age and Times New Roman. I need to check out the In Times New Roman. I haven't really heard anything yet. I, I think I, I know I knew it was it out. out. For some reason, like, I knew it was out. I just haven't checked it out. Yeah. Best Alternative Music Album, Arctic Monkeys, Boy Genius, Lana Del Rey, Gorillaz, Cracker Island. Gorillaz have a new album? Yeah. I haven't listened to it, but... And PJ Harvey. Uh, yeah. And, I mean, it just goes on and on and on, no, There's all sorts of categories. There's, there's a bunch of shit, but... There's that's a lot what of categories that won't even show on the TV. That's what you're looking forward to. If you want to watch the Grammys, that's shit. If you are um, listening, hopefully before February 4th, it's going to be playing then. Um, Performances at the Grammys include... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Billie Eilish. Billy Joel. Billy Joel's playing. His new song. Yeah. Yep. Burna Boy. Dua Lipa. Joni Mitchell. Luke Combs. Olivia Rodrigo. SZA. Travis Scott. Ooh. And you too. Oh, me too. Bono. Come on. You think he's going to be wearing shades? Get the fuck out of here with you too. You think he's going to be wearing shades while he's indoors playing I don't know, man. I... I <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I liked you too, but man, you're. Why don't you sell your shades and save the world, you cheap fuck? <laughs> I I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. I, I don't know why they were so hyped up. I will say they are. I a, like them. They are a good band. Yeah. They're solid. They make good music, but how did they get that popular? I don't know. Right. Like, I, again, like the same thing you said. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, country star Darius Rucker is arrested on drug charges in Tennessee. Who'd he got arrested? <laughs> he did. He looks like shit, too. <laughs> looks like he's wearing a fake bald cap. I know it's not fake. It just looks like it. Like There's like a seam. <laughs> and he's looking at you, too. I only want to be with you. Uh, so, yeah, he was arrested, and uh, he was arrested on two counts of simple possession or casual exchange of a s- controlled substance and one kind of violation of Tennessee vehicle Please registration tell me law. it's pot, because that would be awesome. Uh, yeah. I, I, Tennessee doesn't have legalized pot. Oh, they don't? No, so that would be amazing if it was pot. Uh, authorities did not comment on what drug or drugs Rucker allegedly <laughs> had in his possession what was led to his arrest, but he was released after posting a... $10,500 bond on the same day. And he was fully cooperating with the authorities. It's misdemeanor charges. Yeah. Well, if you have a small enough amount of any drug, it's pretty much a misdemeanor. Right. It's, you, I, it'll come out. And when it comes out, you'll hear it. If here. it's pot, it's going to be a laughing stock. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, God damn. For pot? <laughs> Shit, man. Um, TikTok is taking some music off because Universal Music Group has threatened to remove all of the music it owns from TikTok unless the streaming platform agrees to more favorable terms for its vast catalog. So if you noticed on In TikTok... other words, Universal wants more money. Well, yeah. I mean, everything's going up. Hey, COVID, bro. Eh, come on. Universal, giant conglomerate, they're doing fine. Yeah. COVID, though. (laughs) (laughs) COVID, these nuts. Um, But if you notice on TikTok, there's no, like, you used to be able to put popular songs in there, and you can't put popular songs. Now it's all just like. Well, anything that's owned by Universal, they took it off. Right? It's it's all gone. It's all gone. Um, But we'll see what happens with that, and who knows? I'm okay with that. I mean, whatever. You don't need to have popular songs in a TikTok to be successful. Nope. You just got to have a song that fits the video. That's all you got to do. Right. And the thing is, sometimes that can make the song more popular if the video gets popular. And the cough cold juice. Always got to get that cough cold juice in. On that note, we are out. Thank you guys for listening. We'll be back next week. We do have 
more interviews coming for you, and uh, we're going to try to set up another live show sometime, probably when it gets warmer, so we're not freezing our asses off. I would hope so. Um, but keep on listening. If you are in a band or you make music yourself, please send it to Chris Gort Show at gmail.com. We are all over streaming platforms, um, and we're all over social media, so just go and check it out. Also, we do have, uh, well, we have shirts. If you do want a shirt, um, let me know. Email us. Chris Gort Show at gmail.com. None of the money goes towards us. It's just more promotion. Um yeah, the money, the cost will be just directly to the shirt, directly to the person making the shirt, and you know it's it's someone that I know, so it'd be helping them out hopefully, and yeah, so let me know, uh, you know, email us or send something on social media, and with that note, we are out. Matt, take it away. I'm gonna put my mouth around it. Once again, thank you for listening to the Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and mp3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.